Okay, I think I've figured out how to um, redo the plot. So I went up here and I closed it. Um, let's just see, actually, let me start that again. It works, sorry. So I went here to look at all the data and then I closed it. Let's see if it works. Um, and then I'm going to take a new line and do it over this region. And I think the green is zero. And let's see again if I go analysis, profile plot. And um, the, here's the new data. And then I click on the plot and it's loaded it here. So you can see my zero is at about 0 0.01. So I could shift it down by 0 0.01. And so how I would do that is I would go here. I go band math. So let's do again displacement VH corrected untick virtual edX expression. Take that minus zero, sorry, minus zero point one and click OK. Hopefully I've got that right and OK. okay. But you can see it's now gone blank and white, so I'm going to go oh, on the side here. It said color management, and I've lost it because I closed it. So let me just find it, and then I'll show you where to go. Okay, I figured out where to find the color management. So you go to View, Tool Windows, and sorry, Tool Windows, and you come here to Color Manipulation. And so you can change the palette. Um, let's go here. Um, there's several different palettes. Um, I'm going to choose terrain, maybe. Um, interesting, it's a bit different from earlier. Also, you can play around with your min and max values derived from terrain, I think, is what I had before. Um, and so... This is the shifted topography, and now how I can export this for Google Earth is, let me just move to the side, so I'm going to just um, export this for Google Earth. I go File, Export, Other, View as Google Earth KMZ, and just save it somewhere where you can find it again, GIS, and I'm going to save it over here. And while that's exporting, this was my original one that I created over a, my, a tailings dam where it's, it's collapsed on the side here. And it doesn't look great, <laughs> but there's definitely some sort of signal over here. So I'm going to have to work at how to improve this. Um, definitely some sort of signal because studies have been done before. I was trying to follow some other people's work. And there's, this is the southern southeastern part of the tailings dam. And they definitely see a blue and a uh, yellow here. So that's why I was quite keen to shift mine to just see if, if that gives the correct values. If I look, yeah, I'll pause and I'll see what it looks like. I was busy exporting my games and then realized actually my color scale was quite terrible for, um, it was quite gradual. I don't know. So I thought I'll play around with it and just saw some more fun things. So this is this color manipulation. Here we are. I have to remember how I got back to it. So more options. Uh, let me just see. Okay, so this was where I was originally on this basic option. And just because the tutorials, you can see the blues and the greens, I kind of went for this um, terrain option further down. But I mean, there's lots of other good options that you could try to play around with. Um, so I think derived from terrain over here but if you go here over I didn't try table but you can also click on the slider which is quite nice to see where things are so you can see the blues I have a feeling that blue is just bad poor coherence because here we're over the tailings dam um, and so I thought actually I'm just looking over there um, the scale from the paper I was working on it's not easy to see but it's about 20 millimeters to 20 millimeters so I could look at, which is about two centimeters, um, which is at about, um, if I've got it right, uh, two times 10 to the minus two would be equal to two centimeters. So I've kind of got that here on this white side that I could bring up. I suppose I've got it there as well. Um, so 
sorry, I just said this guy. But I really wanted to bring my green to the middle, and I didn't want a yellow on this side. And so I was playing around. So if you tap on your triangle and click on a color, it converts it to a color. And so this one here, clicking on more, and I'm actually just going to make it an RGB and just make it a darker blue. So it gives a bit of integration. And I really want to bring this green up to wherever zero is. Um, I'm actually going to have to be a bit more over this way. Yeah, so I'm just going to say what's my minus when it changes. I want my green to be close to zero there. And I mean, you could change this if you wanted to red, but you could have quite a bit of fun playing around with it, I suppose. Um, maybe some orange here and put this over yellow. I don't know if you could delete one of these. So if you click on none, then it doesn't go well. Um, so yeah, you can play around with different color scales. Let's see if I made a darker orange here, the lighter orange here, and then turn this one uh, into the yellow. Um, and try space them out. So you could also use one of the built-in color bars or create something of your own. And so now you can see very clearly um, we've got reds and blues. I mean, technically, you should try and make this 0 0.78 so that it's equal on either side, like there. And you can see it automatically cuts off your uh, spectrum. Once again, so this is close to zero. I move things around a bit. I think I've got, I've got more triangles on the side than what's causing that, but anyway, that's the only. I don't want to watch me do this every day. Eh? Um, so yeah, I mean, the main question is, what does it mean? This is where the collapse was. So I mean, now that I'm going to go and export this and see what it looks like in Google Earth. That means it needs to take quite a while. Um, so I will pause the video and then show you guys what it looks like at the end. Let's save it. I'm going to bring it up an existing one. And just see how does this red region down here correlate? Um, this is the older one where I hadn't played with the color bar. How does it um, correlate with this collapsed area and these previous work that people had done? Uh, let me move it up. You can see this blue on this red over here. So I'll pause and I'll let you know. Um, and so this is a blow bit. So here's the tanning dam. Here's where I think the main collapse was, but I don't know if more came out the side from here. Um, so I think the collapse was in September, and then this image is the first to the completed the 13th of August, so a month beforehand. And then there is that red there, but I mean, that's not the main site of the collapse. Um, also, compared to the other data, yeah, definitely. So yeah, so in, in this image here, blue is positive, this latent, and red is negative, whereas in ours, blue is negative. So, I mean, it makes sense that our red is here and their blue is there. So, yeah, if you can see a guy next week who works on tailing exams in Insar, so it'll be very interesting what he has to say. But I hope you have luck with your Insar images, and yeah, good luck.